Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 4 Lesson 9 homework. So let's get started. Sketch two different ways to compose the given angles using two or more pattern blocks. Write an addition sentence to show how you compose the given angle. Alright, so number one, points A, B, and C form a straight line. So what do we know about a straight line? We know a straight line is 180 degrees. So that means the pattern blocks we put in, the angle measures, they all have to add up to 180 degrees. So let's start off. We know like this one, I don't know why they have it, but this one is 90 degrees because it's a right angle. So we put a line here do that's not right even this much is nine degrees and that only leaves us nine degrees more to fill in so then another one here is also nine degrees and nine plus 90 is 180 so this makes a straight line the 180 <coughs> um, degrees equals 90 degrees plus 90 degrees. Alright, and now we have to make 180 a different way. So, let's see. We can do, um, let's see, we can do like a triangle here maybe to show this much is 60 degrees. And over here, that, well, that leaves us with the hexagon do this it's not really like a hexagon but this much would be 120 degrees and now 120 degrees plus 60 degrees is 180 so this makes 180 degrees all right now number two angle def equals 90 degrees def so we want to make sign that makes 9 degrees. So 30 and 16. Let's see, we can start off with a rhombus to show 60. Like this much is 60 degrees. And now this little gap here, we can fill it in with 30 degrees. Like this. So this would be 30 degrees. Now, 30 degrees plus 60 degrees Oh. equals 90 degrees so this whole thing is 90 degrees and now over here we can make <clears throat> 90 degrees again we can do 30 and 60 but we can use it differently like instead of the rhombus for 60 degrees we can do the triangle at 60 degrees and the parallelogram here will be 30 degrees. Okay. So 30 degrees plus 60 degrees. <clears throat> that looks more like 600. Equals 90 degrees. <coughs> Alright, next page. Number 3. GHI. 120 degrees. So let's see, one way we can do it, we can first do, we can put like a square or something here. And this would be 90 degrees because it makes a square. And the remaining part, we only need 30 degrees more. So we can draw the like parallelogram and this would be 30 degrees. That means 30 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 120. Actually, we don't need that equal sign because it's already here. And 120 a different way. Well, let's see. That's another way we can do. We can go back to the pattern sheet so we can do something with that 60 degrees. And we can put 60. Over here 
This is 60 degrees. And look at the triangle, all sides, all the angles are 60 degrees. So we can do one here. We can put another triangle here. And this part would also be 60 degrees. And 60 plus 60 is 120. 120. All right, number four, X equals 270 degrees. So this much is 270 degrees. And this is the exterior angle. This is outside. So we want to find what makes X. So... We can start off by wait, 60. <coughs> wait, hold on. Let's see, what can we do? We can do 90 degrees. We're here. This is 90 degrees. And actually, if we do this, this is 90 degrees. And this part would also be 90 degrees. So we can have. 390 degrees that make up what 270. Now another way we can do it, um, so we can put another 90 degrees here. And now it's left we have a straight line. So we have to find out something that makes 180. Let's see. Well we can do a rhombus to show 60 degrees. And over here, what's left, we can do that hexagon. I might take out a bit of room. But this will be 120 degrees. So we have 120 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 90 degrees. And all together, they make 270 degrees. Now number five, McCall, Mike, I think. Built the following shape with his pattern box. Write an addition sentence for each angle, indicated by an arc and solve. The first one is done for you. So the first one, they have Y. So Y is here. So the arc is what we're measuring, this angle. <coughs> so first, this part is part of the hexagon. So this part is 120 degrees. And this is part of a square, so it's 120 plus 9 degrees, which is 210 degrees. B, if we look at Z, we're marge this this is what we're measuring. So this part of the triangle, which we know is um 60 degrees, and this part is part of the parallelogram, which is 30 degrees. 60 plus 30 is 9 degrees. And if you actually turn the paper color, you can kind of tell that this thing is a 90 degree angle, which makes sense. <laughs> All right, and now for X, this is the whole thing we're measuring. This part is 30 degrees. And this is part of the triangle, so it's 60 degrees. And the last part, part of the, hex, the hexagon, so that's 120 degrees. 30 plus 60 is 90 plus 120 is 210. So angle X is 210 degrees. So yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.